Welcome to the Shady X109 YouTube channel. This will be the fourth installment of Earthbound. We will be in Happy Happy Village attempting to rescue Paula and just because we can we will also be looking to get our second melody from the sound spot. But in order to make sure we are ready for it, we have to do a little bit of quick level grinding at the beginning. Just to make this a little bit easier. It's not so much for the first semi-boss, because I can't even call K Carpenter a boss. He's really not. By standards, I guess he's technically supposed to be considered a boss. But... He's just, he doesn't really act like one. He's pretty easy to beat, so it's hard for me to treat him like a boss. But then again, the uh, the one coming up is also very easy to eat, so. If you find yourself in this area and you're hurting for health, specifically health, you can come up to this food stand and you can buy any of these for free. It says 5 and 12. You don't actually have to pay for anything. So, if you're desperate, you can get that stuff for free. Or, if you just feel like getting the fresh eggs. You can get as many fresh eggs as you want. Walk around. The fresh eggs will hatch into a chick. The chick will then grow up into a chicken. And they sell for, I believe... I believe they sell for 220 each. So if you're hurting for cash, get the uh, get the fresh egg. If you're hurting for health, you can get the, uh, I believe it was bananas. Looks like bananas. Let's just check that real quick. Yeah, you can get banana. You could also eat the fresh egg. I don't recommend it just because 220, you could, you know, pretty much just walk around the shop, let it become a chicken. And then sell the chicken, get a bunch of croissants. Which, obviously, will heal you more than one egg. We should... So the goal, the goal that I'm looking for is, just like before, I'm trying to be able to one-hit them. I do get to that point, I believe I'm just under, so I should be one level off. And the joys is they give so much experience that it doesn't take long at all to get these levels. Let's see. Let's see, there's another 700 right there. So super easy level grind. You only need two more battles and we'll already have that level up. They love this cave for some reason. I say that and then there's none. That figures. Usually there's a bunch of them in the cave. Usually. Not always. Clearly not always. They kind of bounce around. Man, they are usually not this well hidden. Alright. Just need a couple more. Are they not spawning right now? This is super weird. I don't even know what to say about this. I feel like now I'm just wasting time and I don't I don't like that. I don't like the wasting of the time. Where are they? There's one. Here we go. Alright. And it took a lot longer than it should have. Hopefully he calls for a buddy. Might not even have a chance. Nope, he's not even gonna have a chance. Okay. So now we still need one more, unfortunately, but that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we might even need one after that. No, we're good. Oh, he's homesick. We are currently homesick. That is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible news. We're going to have to get to a phone. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Probably should have saved some more money than what I had. Oh yeah, we need that for her. Uh, okay, nah. I'm gonna sell the bomb. 
I know I'm not going to use it, so we'll just sell that. That's extra anyway. So there we go. I got a call. Anytime you get homesick, you have to call your mom. It's... I'd like to say it's rare, but I've had it happen in quick succession before. Got rid of it, got through like two, three battles, and he had it again. So definitely keep that in mind. And homesick might might not sound like such a bad thing, but in the middle of battle, all of a sudden Ness will start thinking about his mom, or he'll start thinking about his favorite food or his favorite thing, and he just... He won't attack, he won't do anything. He will literally be useless. Now it's not every, it won't be every round, but it'll be inconsistent. So when you really need him to hit, all of a sudden he'll, you know, start crying about something or be thinking about something and it could l quite literally cost you a battle. So if you see homesick, something to check on once in a while. I caught it early this time, so I got pretty lucky, to be honest. Wow, that level up was garbage. All that work for that level up, and it's garbage. Is he homesick again? He is. See, look at that. One battle. One battle in, and he's homesick again. Just got rid of the homesickness, and he's homesick again. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't think we saw that last time. So he might not have been over homesick. Alright. That was uh, that was my bad. No. Might go for another quick level up. Just because it is... It's under 10 battles. And we kind of need Ness to be on his A game in order to get through the cave. Paul is going to be very, very weak. Very vulnerable. She's not going to be a big help until she gets at least a few levels. So we're, we will need Ness to carry for the wins. On the plus, though, the boss, like I said, the boss is super easy. His weakness is very, very easy. Ness can pretty much do it by himself. I could probably go in there and win it all by myself right now. But I would rather get the experience for Paula. So... I would love to fight these guys and get the experience for Paula, but they will be gone by the time I get her. So that, uh, that is a downside. I don't like that we're only finding one at a time either. It's definitely making this level up experience a little bit longer than it needs to be. I still can't one hit these guys. Even with the green, that is disappointing. Alright, well at least we got the smash on the first hit. And that quick. Should be just about halfway by already. Alright, a little under halfway. We do have some more battles in there as well. So once I get, I think, two more out here, I will push in. And this boss... With the uh, with the Franklin badge, will quite literally beat himself. All I have to do is survive. That's it, and he will end up just beating himself, which is awesome. I think it's awesome. Makes it a lot easier. The early stages of this game are pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. So I hope uh, I hope that if you do get stuck and you watch this, that you find it helpful. Let's see what we got. Ooh, PSI Caramel. That is rare and super helpful. Oh, look at that. Now we're getting blessed. Here we go. Now they're rolling out for us. We'll get this. Boom, boom. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Oh, we miss. Okay. Oh, there's a hit. All right. One more. There we go. All right, only a thousand left. There should be enough enemies in here to get that thousand. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of them in here. Most of them don't even acknowledge that you're in here, so it's not a big deal. 
You actually have to look for the. See, most of them super play, super easy. You have to look for the ones that will uh, fight you. I think I'm pretty sure there's three in here that'll fight. It's here, three or four. Well, the goal is, at least for this area, not to heal until we reach Carpenter. So, the way to tell who will talk and who won't, look for the ones that are moving faster than the others. Now you see this guy's feet are moving faster than this guy's feet. So I can talk to this guy. And that. Oh, there you go. We can get to the present. I'm not looking for that. I am still looking for enemies to beat. So there we go. We'll beat this guy real quick. Since they're only doing three now, that makes things a little bit easier as well. I know it's only two less than before, but those two add up. Ten attacks, we're talking 20, 20 different hit points right there. See, we can't talk to those guys. It's unfortunate, but it happens. I'm pretty sure we only need one more. Ooh, we might need two. That's okay, I'm pretty sure there's two left. Alright, let's get this guy out of the way super quick. Yeah. Oh, he called for help. Even better. That just made our day. And we still have... We, I'm pretty sure there's still one more guy I have to fight. But that's just bonus experience at this point now. Alright, there we go. He's one hit. Called for help. Nobody came. Good. And here's our level up. Perfect. 18. Offense up by 3. That is exactly what I was looking for. We got Flash. That will come in handy later on. He's trying to learn to whistle. Alright, take this guy out. Now we can just slide on over to Carpenter. There's still a couple more we could fight. So that was a little off on that. I think there's five or six actually that you can fight. But for the sake of the video, we will just be moving on. Yeah, we don't really need another level up. These guys walking in the circle, you can fight them. Uh, a couple of them, I think, one or two. And then you can look around, see if there's anybody else with fast moving feet that'll give you a. I can't even say a challenge, give you some extra experience. Alright, how's that? Uh, we could use a little bit more. We'll just eat this hamburger. There we go. We're going to need that space anyway for when he gives us the key to the cabin. So, if you don't want to be my right, will he be my left? Ha ha ha! No. He's going to destroy me in this pitiful game. Oh, but your lightning was reflected. Nice try there, buddy. Nice try. Nice try. I don't know how a badge, you know, does that, but okay. All right. We attack. Bam. What a hit. Uses his attack. It misses. Uses his second attack. It bounces right back and hits him. And look at that. We win. Told you. He would kill himself. And just like that, happy happyism is defeated. Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Remember that from earlier? In the hole? Wonder how it got here before we did. Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paula is being held. Take the key and go. Well, yeah, I'm not going to take the key and just sit here with you. That'd just be weird. We literally took zero damage in that, too. That's awesome. We might come back in here, because I think there's... Yeah, a skip sandwich. We could sell that. And there's something down there, too. Nothing great, but... It'd still be helpful. Oh, yeah, this guy. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. 
Nez, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be God. Uh, okay? Ha! Huh, I lied! See you, sucker! I, I don't understand the whole point of that. We didn't seek him out. We didn't question him. Nothing. He goes out of his way to do all that. That's... I don't understand it. Like, we literally helped you in the beginning of the game, bro. Like, come on. We did nothing but help you. And you're like 100% anti-us. I don't... Man, I don't get it. I does not understand him. There we go. Open that up. Thank you, Nash. You're just like I imagine you would be. Cool, cool, cool. If I got here by myself, why would I need your help to get back? Like, are you serious? Alright. So, the first boss battle's out. We are 16 minutes in. Not bad, especially for the level grinding. Probably should grind up a little more with Paula. I probably won't. At least not right now. Um, yeah. We are going to be able to get her some levels pretty, pretty quickly uh, in the cave. As, uh, like I said, that's why I save the cave for afterwards. Now, if you wanted to do the egg thing, make sure you do that before you save Paula. Because after you defeat Carpenter, uh, what ends up happening is uh, Pokey takes the bananas and they close down the food stand. So you can no longer get the fresh eggs. So if you want to do that trick, do it before you beat Carpenter. Now I'll show you guys just so you can see. Thanks for your support. Over the years, food stand is now going out of business due to personal reasons. So, that has now closed. We're going to call. Yeah, we're going to save this. We're going to see how much money we got. And then we're going to buy Paula what she needs. Alright, good save. Good move. And there we go. And we're going to withdraw. I honestly don't think I need anywhere near... Ha, I left a dollar. Don't need anywhere near this, but I'm going to do it just to be on the safe side. Because I'd rather have too much than not enough. Alright, there's that. You'll also notice specialty equipment that can only be used by a certain person. Nine times out of ten is better than the stuff that's universal. And it also costs more, so that's also something to watch out. The price typically indicates if it's better. Typically. Some of them bear in mind, not always, because there is stuff where it sounds like it's better, but it's not. Like the slingshots and the yo-yos. They sound like they should be better. But in reality, they're just not. At least in my opinion. I don't like them because they miss too much. And I already miss enough as it is. So I'm not trying to miss... <laughs> I'm definitely not trying to miss more. Oh, there we go. We got that. Okay. Eventually, I will be calling Escargo Express to get rid of the stuff that I can't use. Whether I can't use it anymore or I just don't need it for a long time. It's still an inventory spot that I could keep for later on. Oh, there goes. Oh, Teddy Bear's not dead yet, but it did take a big punch there. Oh, now it's dead. Look at that. They made it through one whole fight. Should get uh, freeze here. Fire. Oh, fire's first. That's right. That's right. Fire, then freeze. Oh, she didn't get freeze. That's unfortunate. Freeze is going to be a big, big, big factor. It's uh, 
And it's definitely my favorite psychic power for Paula that I use. I'll take her freeze over most... Actually, I'll take the freeze over most of the other attacks. I think the only other attack that I use more than freeze, especially towards the end of this game, is uh, Pooh's... Uh, what is it? Starstorm. That's what it is. But we are a long way away from that. Oh, a couple of bats are joining in. Okay. Fire will be helpful on this. Yeah, we're going to just... We're going to knock some sense into him. Alright, they didn't die because her power is obviously very underdeveloped. Oh, Ness just became useless. And, oh, the mole didn't do anything anyway, so that's a plus. That should finish them. Good, good, good. There we go. This should get at least, I'm hoping at least two more levels for her. Decent. Oh, only one and still didn't learn it. Okay. This should be great charm. Yep, great charm. That is going to go over to Paula. Because though it's not much, it is extra defense. And since she has such a low amount of health, she needs all the defense she can get. Because right now it's... So the priority, the, the mission here is to get to the uh, the sound spot. We need to keep in mind at the same time, we need to get Paula stronger. Ness, Ness is good. Ness is in a good spot right now. But Paula, on the other hand, she's she's just not... Oh, Thunder. Oh, man. I thought Thunder came after Freeze. I am way off. I think I just really, really want Freeze. It's not so much that I really thought Freeze was coming up. It's I just want my Freeze. Especially with those bears. Freeze is very important with those bears. Did I already see... Did she start with Freeze? Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm crazy. That's possible. Yeah, it's definitely possible. I'm going to check that real quick. I think I saw Freeze when I went to use Fire. But, I don't know. Double check that. Oh, not that way. We'll do here. Or here. She does have freeze. Okay, I, I, I'm not insane. She did start with freeze. Can't reach me up here. Come on, boy. 20. Oh, and we just hit 23 minutes in. There we go. Are they? Nope, they're not one shot yet. Not yet. Almost. Now, we should be able to get through this. I'm going to try, try to get back to Tucson before the end of this video. That will be... That is my personal goal. How are we doing on health? Alright. So if Ness gets hit again, we will eat a croissant, fill him up. Otherwise, we're not in terrible shape. Sad. Nope, that still doesn't get him. Wow. Oh, we'll have to heal Paula here in a second. Wow, 168. You couldn't do that in the first one? Alright. Guess better late than never. So we will use her bread roll. Um, bop, 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 bop. Perfect. Okay. We're in good shape so far. One bat and one mole. Not an issue. We'll take out the bat first. That's not really an issue. Alright. Paula should be able to finish off the bat. Perfect. And this should... No, still. Mm. Oh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't level up, so that makes sense. Should... No, no level up yet. I didn't look at Ness's, but he needs a lot more than Paul, I'm sure. Oh yeah, we are going to heal Ness. 
There we go. Oh. If oh, okay. This might be an issue. It did not freeze him. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Okay, it missed. It missed. We're still not in great shape, but we're not in we're not dead, so that's something. I should take out the bear. There we go. Alright, we're good. We are good. We made it through. No issue. Pause at 10. Alright, we gotta heal her up again. Because I would rather be safe than sorry, especially since it is about getting her level up. So if she's dead. Oh, also, something to keep in mind. If you're if a character dies, they do not gain experience. It doesn't matter if they died in the beginning, the middle, or the end of the battle. They get zero experience from the battle unless they are alive here. So, also along those lines, if a character is dead coming into the battle, and you revive them during the battle, whether it's right right at the end, or in the middle, or the beginning, they get, they get their share of the experience as well. So, that's something to keep in mind. Like, I could let Paula die, and then... Or if, like, say she gets poisoned, or, you know, we're going through, we get into a battle, and I know that they're not going to make it through very easily, then I could let, uh, I could revive her in the battle, let her get the experience, and hope for a level up or something like that. It's a little bit tricky. It's definitely, uh, it's a tricky way to play it, but it can be done. I don't know why this this one's running away. That's kind of weird. Guess he just didn't want to fight all by himself. I don't blame him because that happens. All right, there we go. There we go. We're at 28 minutes. We might not. I'm starting to doubt my ability to get back to Tucson by the end of this unless I want to make it a little bit longer, but that's not really the goal right now uh, Freeze a Is obviously the weakest of them, but uh B sh I believe B is strong enough to kill the bear on its own merit But I don't want to use the extra psychic power if I don't need to the bat just killed itself. Well, Okay, I guess I can't complain about that. Especially since just last video, we uh, we had Ness kill himself, so. We'll probably get Paula one more level before we fight the last, uh, the, yeah, the, uh, the, end, the boss. Wow, drawing a blank on that one. There we go. Oh, Paula dodged. Excellent. He hit himself. Apparently that's a thing in this game. You act unusual, so you hit yourself. That's it's kind of weird. There we go. Oh, just short. I think she needed like 458 or something. 37 off. Alright, so you only need one more. The bear will be more than enough to give that. And her speed, you'll notice in most of your fights, Paula will be your first move. That will remain the same throughout most of the game. Once you get Paula, at least for me anyway, she is she is a staple in, in the way I play. Her psychic power, the fact that she is the first to move. I always make sure she's stocked up with healing items. It works out much, much better that way. Uh, we could push for another level. No, 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 no. No, we don't need to. We're just going to beat this guy. So, to make this boss battle a hundred times easier on yourself, your first move, Ness, Psychic Power. 
down to assist, down to para paralysis. Use it on the Mondo Mole. Her move does not matter at all. Uh, freeze does the least amount of damage, unfortunately. So your only real options are Fire does an okay amount, and Thunder does the most. Unfortunately, I'll show you Thunder only gets one shot, and it does not always hit. In fact, it rarely hits, but we'll try it. We'll see how it happens. That first one hit. Hey, thank you. I'll definitely take that. Paralysis, as long as this should work. There we go, he becomes numb. He cannot do anything now. There's nothing he can do. Well, he can still use his psychic power, but that's not, oh, see that one missed. That's not really much. The most he can do now is, I believe, heal. Until he, uh, unless the, until the paralysis wears off, he's, he's stuck. Oh, that four, was that four misses in a row now? Yeah, just, just terrible. Terrible. We should be getting a hit on one of these here pretty soon. That's a lot of misses in a row. There we go. That should finish him. Nope. I was hoping. That one did, though. All right, nice, quick. All right, we are only at 31 minutes, so I might push to get out back to Tucson. Ooh, very nice level up and life, life up B. That was a crap level. That was another crap level. Lots of bad level ups, but when you get those nice level ups, I'll tell you what, that feels amazing. Alright, here is the second melody. Now we had a brief vision of a baby in a red cap. Gee, I wonder who that could be. New idea. Uh, yeah, we need a lot of experience to get, uh, get to the next level. I don't even want to try to maneuver through that. I'll take the longer way. It's because it would definitely cause another battle, and though the experience would be helpful, I know it's not going to be enough. And we are trying to push to back to Tucson. We're going to have plenty, plenty of battles along that route. The experience isn't going to be great, but every little bit helps. Like these ones up here, I should be able to get quick flash wins. I definitely had him in the back, so I'm not really sure why that wasn't green. That was disappointing, but still. Alright, so we got that. See, this one's running away too. There we go. There's the green. What? It still brought us in? Oh, man. I guess I'm not... I didn't grind as much as I thought. <laughs> there we go. All right. We are at 30... Just under 34 minutes. So I'm going to push to Tucson. And then that should be that. We did beat the mole, we did beat Carpenter, so we rescued Paula. So we are going to end this on a nice high uplifting note by getting Paula back to her parents. And then, oh, no, 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 not going to fight a tree that explodes on my face. No. Oh my god, this is just terrible. What is going on? Ah, uh, yeah, alright. I'll, I'll fight it. There we go. 
now that we have Paula, now it makes sense to go after the Cup of Life Noodles. And really, it's being protected by a tree. A tree and two sprouts. What the? Ah, rah, 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 rah. Go away, tree. Nobody wants you to explode. Oh my god. This game's like, oh, you want these couple life noodles, huh? Huh? Well, you're gonna have to blow up for them. Oh my god, they're pushing up. What is this? What is going on? This is just so weird. Another? Oh my god. I'm about to go back in the cave and just hide. This is terrible. I, I, don't, I don't know why we're fighting a mobile shroud. It's literally, yeah, Ness can one hit it. That w definitely should have just flashed me the win right there. That's complete crap that it didn't. There we go. I forgot to put the money back in the ATM. So we definitely cannot afford to die. Goodbye. Love those smash hits. Especially when Ness gets them. Ness and Jeff are the best, best attackers. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Okay. We might be able to use the flashing to avoid the battle with the tree and just run straight through. So that's going to be the goal here. Beat this and then just dash past. Look at that. Love it. Oh, we got green. Nice. There we go. There we go. That is perfect. Do we need to heal it all? He's homesick again. He is... Oh, my God. How is he homesick again? This is... This is ridiculous. So I guess before, before we get off, we'll have to call the mom again. Uh, it will be quick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. All right. I know what I'm going to do. All right, so we will... I can't even chance hit him because I, I don't want to do any damage to that tree at all. Just in case of a smash, in case of anything. I want to make sure that... I can immediately end the battle. There it is. Person of Flames. She's dead. He's almost dead. But we stopped it. Bam. Saved them both. Saved a whole lot of hit points, too. Oh, we're just going to heal that right back up. Not even going to play that game. We'll heal Ness as well. This time I need to look. <laughs> look at where I'm going. Alright, this bridge is good. The other bridge should also be repaired. We're just gonna... Now we'll just fight this. That's fine. These ones are easy. Alright, so we'll take out a little UFO while Paula hits the spinning robo. Never mind. Ness is gonna miss because he's awesome like that. It's just a cold, so as you see, they do very little damage. Oh, Paula Smash is enough to kill. Nice. Oh my god, Ness, can you hit, bro? Come on. What are you doing over here? You're getting shown up by Paula. Okay, you're the attacker here, and Paula is just wiping the floor, saving your, saving your behind. You literally missed every single one of your attacks. There's... Ness is a human shield in this battle. He was literally a human shield while Paula did all the work. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Ness, you deserve that cold, buddy. You, you deserve it after that one. Should make you sit there and sniffle. Alright, thank you. Thanks for repairing the bridge. I think... Yeah, we're... Eh, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use one more. Why not? That makes him 20 off. We'll grab the butterfly. Now he has full psychic power again. All right. We are at... Ooh, we just hit 40 minutes. I was hoping that I would be back in Tucson by now. Uh, a couple of battles has slowed me down a little bit, but we're not super far off. We're just about there. Okay. Uh, thought I was hoping Paul would just be able to one-hit the sprout. I think I knew that wasn't going to work, but I was hoping. And Ness just cannot seem to hit the little UFOs. Finally. What was that mean? One out of eight? Come on. Come on, bro. What are you doing? You need to just... Hit them and go. That's it. Hit it. Break it. Move on out. I, I can't believe these things are still coming after me. It's kind of weird. Alright. Oh, of course he did. He lost all motivation in battle. And your motivation in battle just cost Paul of 5 hit points. So, Or not hit points. Psychic points. Good job losing motivation like that. All right, we have made it back to Tucson. I'm going to start trying to avoid battles now that the homesickness is affecting him. Excellent. So now we're going to bring Paula home, and then we're going to go stay in a hotel. And then uh, save it, and that'll be that. Oh, literally just went right by our house. Oh, man, what am I doing? I think I was heading to the hotel already. I was, I was about to just go end this. <laughs> All right. A little. Oh, nice. Okay, got us another level. I'll take it. Ooh, psychic so went up, and we got magnet. Okay, definitely a good level there. Look at the silver lining on that one. That is excellent. We're going to talk to the mom so we can get the hand aid, uh, band aid, hand aid, or hand aid, band aid, however you want to look at it. Oh, right, so here we go. Hand aid, handmade band aid. Oh, that rhymes. Let's call it the hand aid. All right, awesome. I, I don't care. I, I, don't, I don't like that I have to do this part. Although, I guess technically you can skip this part. It would have zero bearing on this at all. This a uh, more or less to uh, more or less just a courtesy thing, I think. So kinda I need to know if you need if you're not sure what to do, bring Paula home, they tell you, oh yeah, now you gotta go to three. But in order to get to three, you have to do some more things, but we will get there in the next video. Oh, here we go. Hello, Ness. Everdred is looking for you. He's got something for you. Everdred, if you remember in the second video, was the guy on the roof that hopped down and attacked us. Uh, came up with the excuse of, oh, I twisted my ankle. Okay, well, he apparently needs to see us for something. And we have to go see the Runaway 5 as well. So we will do that in the next video. This one will be coming to an end right after this so we will be it's gonna be a little complicated we're gonna stay in the hotel to make sure we're nice and rested there we go how about reading the newspaper before you go here's this morning paula found safe parents delighted to have her back yep that's why they just let her walk right back out the door great parenting okay and we're going to put the money back in the ATM. Because I know if I don't, I am going to absolutely 115% forget it. There we go. Money's back in there. Now we got to get rid of Ness's homesickness. There we go, and now we save it. 
He deposited $1,515. So now we have $3,199. Ooh, Ness is almost at a level 2. And with that, we will have a... There we go. That comes to an end. I hope you all enjoyed the fourth edition of Earthbound. Happy, happy village. And I will catch you all in the next one.